Hi everyone, welcome to day 46 of my Kubernetes SQL challenge series where I solve data analysis and business analysis interview question for SQL. Today we will be solving one of the Amazon data analysis interview question. So here is the questions. You have order table with the columns order ID, customer's ID, order date and the total amount. Calculate the running total of orders for each customer. Return the customer's ID, order date, total amount of each orders and the cumulative total orders amount for each customer's sort the result by customer's id and the order date and the data that we have in the table which is order ids and the customer ids order date and the total amount so what we need to do is basically we need to create a new column where we will need to add a cumulative sum so basically for each customer's first we need to sort the data by this order date and the customer's id and then we need to basically create a column here where we will be adding cumulative sum for each customers basically the revenue generated by each customer so first order would be basically the first revenue and the second order would be basically the first and the second revenue so let me first order the data so that i can show you so i'm just going to order the data order by basically i'm going to order by which is customers id customer id okay then i'm going to order it by this order date okay order date now let's just run this query now it's going to order the data for each customer's id all the orders i'll be basically getting by basically the order date now you see this is the customer's id 101 and we can see all the orders that we have received from these customers right then we have basically the second customer's 102 all the orders we have received from that customers okay so i have simply ordered this data by this customer's id and the order date now what we need to do is basically we need to create a new column here where we can add a cumulative sum for all the amount that we have basically received from this customer so for example this orders cumulative sum is going to be 120 plus 0 now for this customer for this orders for the same customer which is the second order is going to be is going to be the previous order amount which is 120 plus the recent order amount which is 70 then it's going to be basically whatever it is like 180 or 190 and then it's going to be basically here is going to be basically 250 so same way it will keep on adding as soon as the customer buy it the cumulative sum will keep on basically adding now i'll be using a window functions to solve this uh, you know question so i'm not going to need this ordered by and uh, all this you know syntax so i'm just going to basically select the things i need which is everything now i'm going to use a window functions to basically solve it okay so i'm just going to say sum now sum on what which is total order amount so i'm just going to say total amount okay total total amount and i'm using over close here to basically do a partition by this customer's id because now the data is not you know basically ordered right because i have deleted this last line okay so i'm going to say basically over now here i can basically do a partitions by this customer's id basically we can make different partition for each customer's id then we can do a sum basically then this sum is going to work right because whatever i'm going to do here is going to be one column right here i'm going to say partitions partitions by which is customer's id customer id okay i'm just going to make it next line so partition by customers id and i'm going to do a order by so order by by force customers id customer id and then i'm going to do a order by basically the order date now order date and this is going to create a new column so i can basically call this column name as basically running total okay so that's it basically this is going to create a new column this is a window functions so this column is going to be created and inside this column i am basically doing a partitions by this customer's id basically i am creating different different partitions based on the customer's id and inside each partitions i am basically ordering the data by the customer's id and then basically i am ordering the data by this order date now this is going to basically do my job i don't need this customer's id so i simply need this basically order date that's it because by default is going to basically select the customer's id if i in case uh, let me just see if in case this is working so let's just run this query so i think yes without doing this order by by this customer's id it is working because at the end it's going to select the one partitions basically one customer's id and then it's going to select all the orders that we have received from that customer's id basically from that customers and then we are ordering the data on this order date so this is this window function is doing and at the end this window function the whole this uh, you know query is creating a column where we are basically doing a sum so basically the first order basically consider as basically the same amount because there was no previous orders then the second order it is going to basically add the previous order and this basically the first order which is this two right is going to be 191 then it's going to add basically 191 plus basically this one which is 60 and it's going to basically add 251 like this way so this is how basically it's going to basically keep on adding till the time the customer is ordering as soon as customer place a new order is going to be added here if in case we run this query now that is how the business will know what is the total revenue the business has generated 
based on the you know basically the date and based on the month they can again do some group by to basically see which month you know how many revenue the business has generated so that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end now i have a quick sql challenge for you on this data so let me show you the challenge so your challenge is find each customer's id and the revenue collected from them in each month so basically we need to find out each customer's id and the what is the revenue we have collected from them in each month so this is what you can solve and you can write down your solutions in the comment box i'm going to add a link in the video descriptions to my github link so that you can download this data and create the table and basically practice the same that is it for this video thank you so much have a good day take care bye bye